here soon. Just be cool. I'll go off like a normal person. You did well out there. Did the humans teach you their weapons too? No. I saw the RDA butcher my clan. The bullets slicing them to shreds. That was my lesson. I know how it feels to be among the last of your people. The humans. They are like their guns. Brought here to cause pain. The humans here were RDA once. And I would not make it easy for them to forget. They are our allies now, yes. But this is not their war. They fight for the ghost of their homeworld, but we fight for our home. Mercer got what he wanted in the end. He made us into soldiers. You are not what they made you. You are not we. You will learn what that means in time. Starting with this, I made it for you. My own song chord? Like my mother's. All Navi wear one. It is your life's journey for the world to see. For you to remember. Hers had more beads on it. Each bead is a moment of great importance to the wearer. I have put one in place for now to commemorate your first steps to freedom. Build on it. Build your own memories. Each one a new song in your heart. I hope we can. Ritnella really wants to try. To know what it means to be Sarendu. But at the Tarsiu, Nor seemed confused. Upset. Ewa shows us who we are, and who we can be. But she also reminds us of what has been lost. For your people, that is a heavy burden. The back exit is not so exposed. He may be there. The RDA are pestilence. They must be stamped out. The enemy's reach is expanding. The clans must take notice. Nighttime radio is awesome. We need some of that here. Looking like part of the team. We don't get that supply drop by Friday. There's gonna be trouble. Heard you smash that drill site. Grilla tactics, like Jake Sully. That's the way to get things done. You get a pain in my neck looking at Nor, where are you? But what else? Nor must have come through here. Okay, think. Nor left HQ. Definitely came this way. Burst the vein pod. Must have brushed past it. The scent! Ah, yes! Track the scent! You hearing me? I was tracking Nord by the cliffs outside, but I lost the scent. Looks like he crossed a river. I'm sure he's not gone far. Maybe he just wanted to explore a bit. Maybe. I'm going to keep climbing.
Hey, Sotlek, you there? I think Nor's nearby. Maybe you could speak to him about your clan, how it feels, Sotlek. Alma and I are checking it out one of our other camps. It's gone quiet. You sound worried. The sky people continue to spread. You think they found it? Sotlek? What must our ancestors think of us? Do you think they pity us? Sad to see what we've become? We're still Sarindu. Telan barely speaks our tongue. But then, he always preferred human words. Alma says we all need time to adjust. Alma is not Natvi. Why did the RDA come back? They wanted more of Pandora. They always do. Then we'll need to fight. Yes. 
Ahari would have wanted us to fight. Rinella and Taylan. We'll make sure HQ is safe. Priya. All that smoke. It's going to draw more RDA to that camp. I'll get to them first, I promise.
Alma, stop. they find this place? It's not on any of their patrol routes. They're looking for us now. Uh. Okay. You'll be fine. All right? Listen to me. You'll be fine. Yeah. Have you seen one of these before? Uh, no. Don't worry. It's easy. We'll have more on us soon. You need to stabilize him. Don't take too long. There's an oil refinery ahead. I'll make sure the idea come running to it. Keep them off Alman Hajir too then. You can handle this. I'll be quick.
Alma, I found the supplies. I'll be right there. Hurry! Please, hurry! They had plenty of amp suits. More than I've seen around here before. One of Mercer's favorite toys. Mm -hmm. You're always quick. I'm sorry you had to face them alone. I wasn't alone. Zolek distracted them. And did you see that Nappi? Mm. Ikran are fierce. And very protective of their riders. Mm -hmm. An RDA scorpion is no match for them. Natvi, dreamwalker and human, fighting the sky people alone. You are very brave. That was amazing. The way you took out that thing. Thank you. Wait. You have the ma. You are Sar and Tu. The storytellers bring us of peace. My father said your clan disappeared years ago. We thought you were dead. The Sarin through spirit is not so easy to kill. I had hoped to find the resistance here, but... A Sarin too. I am Itua, Sahe of the Aranae. I knew your mother. I'm sorry. Our home suffers too. The sky people grow bolder and the land falters under their feet. And yet, my people, our home tree, we are not warriors, but war has come. My father still needs convincing, but he knew the Sarentu. He will listen to you. He must. I need to get them back. The others. They should know what happened here. Of course, I'll help with your wounded. My home tree isn't far from here. Tell them I sent you. But not all see as I do, so please don't mention my part in this. May your spirit soar with the currents of the wind. Another Natvi showed up to help. A Thua from the Aranahe clan. 
She asked me to visit her home tree. Maybe more Navi will join us now? Not likely. I tried before. It did not go so well. Their leader, Kanan, practically threw me out. He is not easily swayed. He's not afraid of the RDA? Rather, they have already caused him great sorrow. He will protect his people from further suffering. That I can understand. The Arane are normally united in all things, but the war has sparked some friction. Many will close their eyes to an uneasy truth, but a Saren too may help them see. Is that... that looks like a Sarentu. A Sarentu? The last clan? Look at the mark! It must be something else. The Sarentu are long gone. Katna will want to know about this. Let them pass. Home tree scouts will see them soon enough. Asahe should know better. Do you think those two will ever see eye to eye? Perhaps they see each other a little too well. Could be. Lorei is a strange reflection of her mother. Fire! 
Look, a real father. before. What clan are you? They look odd. Etua invited me here to see her father. What's that on your face? It is the mark of the Sarandu. And yet the Sarandu we once knew did not defy Ewa with scraps from the sky people. It's all I know. They stole us when we were children. They have stolen many things. You were gone a long time. And you are young. Has your spirit been molded by the Sky People? Or do you remember the ways of your clan? Shoo! Put that away! <clears throat> Sharp eyes. A Sarentu's gaze. But yours is heavy. Let Home Tree be a refuge from your burdens. We will put some color in your cheeks. Or in your clothes at the very least. You will pick up the threads of your people here. Oh. How I miss their stories. They loved our silk harvest. The sweet smell of dye, my own too. Got not. Let me take the Saren too. The poor child knows nothing of our ways. Go. We will speak more when you are settled. I really must speak more with Etua's father, about the Resistance. Later, my Yaudu. Here's our Uluk Ektan, our clan's leader. Let us clean you up a bit first. You would frighten the hide off an Angsik looking like that. <laughs> Besides, I would not mention those Sky People if I were you. They are nothing but trouble, and Katna does not like trouble. Let me show you off a bit instead, hmm? Will you allow me that? It has been an age since we had Sarentu around here. Your people certainly made life more interesting. One time, they told us a tale about the rare mating rituals of the giant Zakru. Apparently, it can take days. <laughs> But there will be time for that later. Our great tree has many stories, lived many lives, hosted your ancestors as our guest before you. And there was not one Saren to who could resist how our dyes dance. <laughs> Come, see my weavers. Koranu, my dear, let us see your latest. Gorgeous silk, is it not? Not as sturdy as it once was, not since the Kinglor flowers closed. But still, you will not find better. Stronger than Zakru will, I promise you that. And you know how the Zezwa love to brag. Koranu is quite the weaver. She will help you out. Anything you need. Yes, please take my mind off this. I've been working on it for hours, and it's still not quite where I want it. You see, now is the time for beauty, for art. Speaking of which... Reloon! Finally decided to grace me with your presence, have you? And with a Sarentu, no less. Exciting, is it not? Another lost soul for you to guide over the rocky ravines of life. Better meant awaits, Sarentu. <laughs> ah, still cross, I see. 
If you are smart, you will not let this one fill your head with silk and dye. The heart of the Aranae is taste. Relun is a prickly one, but he is the very best cook. He knows it too. And here, my dear friend, Kitangi. Nafika, taking the Sauron to under your wing already? A necessity, I should think. Look at these clothes. Pitiful. <laughs> Rough and prickly like a hermit bud. You lack the grace of your ancestors. They knew how to dress. Rough and prickly is what I'm used to. Well, now you will shine brightly. Rival the rainforest with our collars, my own too. Our silk will serve you well. Strengthened with storm beast hide, it will stop you from getting chewed up out there. Or at least you will be hard to swallow. <laughs> storm beast? Can this child track? I've done okay so far. Okay? What do we think of okay? Do you thrive on okay, child? Or do you only survive? Itu is on a hunt. I'm sure he will make a fine guide. <laughs> Indeed, if you can find him. There is a hunting camp near the Watcher. Itu will be there. But do not upset his hunt. He will not thank you for that. Go on, my own too. A respectful hunt will show Katnat. You remember the ways of the people. There is no need to rush yourself, child. Go now if you want, but stay and enjoy our beautiful silk harvest if you need a little rest. No Arana here would begrudge you that. Are you on your own? Father stays longer this time. It has been many years since your people visited Salt Lake. I made it to the Aranahe. You weren't wrong about them, but one of them took me in, Nafika. She thinks I can impress Kotnat if I show him I can hunt properly. They sent you on a hunt? I should have showed you how myself. It's okay. Nafika said one of their hunters might show me how. Itu. You can at least do something about the Sky People's filth. A little compassion would go a long way. Try to mix the nectar with a touch of shell fruit juice. Press. Or do you grind the pulp? Always pressed. But you must find one that is very ripe, or the King Lord will not like it so much. There is no honor in fleeing this fight. 